Selling boats faster. Hello, I'm Suzanne from Boatshed Kent. Today we're having a look at a Hardy Navigator. This boat has been under current ownership for the last three years. She appears to have been really nicely looked after. So what we're going to do is have a look around the outside first and then inside. Now this boat actually comes with a trailer, a heading trailer. And you can see the rollers underneath. It's a jolly good brand. And here we have the gubbings at the front as well. The owner did actually have the wheel bearings changed about three years ago and he hasn't had much use out of the trailer because he did actually have the boat moored up on the River Medway. The current owner's also had a brand new robbing strake put on the boat and so it's absolutely fantastic. You'll see from the still shots the deck and windows and side decks. As we move around the port side, here we have the wheel of the trailer and nice Honda four stroke tilt and trim outboard. You'll see from the still shots she looks lovely and clean inside. There's all the gubbins. There's also, I'm informed, a five horsepower Tahatsu Get Me Home which fits on this bracket. Um, Tahatsu's only had about 50 hours of use. It's not here today but the owner obviously would bring it along for the correct interested party. This is the winter cover. There is a smarter cover for when the boat is on the water being used. And as you can see, she is a lovely example. Now we'll have a look inside. I have taken a lot of still shots, obviously. First of all, we'll start with the cockpit. It's quite nice and spacious in here. Um, I was taken by the amount of storage. There's a storage cupboard under here. Also storage cupboard underneath the helm tables. You've got fuel tanks on both port side and starboard side which you'll see from my photographs battery housing down here this is a base for a cockpit table and here is the actual cockpit table so the owner over the last three years has put lots of little bespoke touches on board the boat here we have some nice quality covers for the cockpit seating they look in good condition. Here we have helm seat. The wheel. And obviously you can see the navigational equipment from the stills. There's a Garmin GPS that fits in there. This is a little bespoke table that's been set up both on the starboard and the port side and it's quite nice because it's much nicer to be able to mount your instruments that's for the VHF and also if you do have a drink up there you know unless you're rolling around on the ocean wave it's not going to fall over but it smells and looks fresh here again this area here the current owner made a little panel so it comes off when you're cooking, giving you a little bit more elbow space and room to manoeuvre. But when you leave the boat, obviously you fix the panel back into position for a nice secure vessel. 
the siphon is still shut so you've got under this surface here which Yon also made the sink and there's a decent sized storage cupboard with pots and pans, little cooker in there as well and water bottles. There presumably was a fridge here at one point in time. Here in the main cabin you've got your little saloon area which has the infill here to make up into a jolly good sized double berth for when you want to overnight. It's very nice and light and bright down here. You've also got a hatch there to give you a nice flow of air through the boat which on a lovely sunny day like this is uh, quite a nice thing to have. The owner informs me that the radio is not working so that would be something for the next person to do. Here we have the port potty concealed very neatly. Lovely barometer there. I have to say she's a very clean, very tidy boat with lots of little attention to detail that the current owner has bestowed on this boat. He's had very, very many happy times on this boat, but now he's come to the stage in life where he's unfortunately giving up boating. So if you'd like to come and have a look at this vessel, then do give me a call or email me, and my contact details can be found on boatshedkent.com, or you can email me at boats at boatshedkent.com.